In this video, I'll show you how to use the text-to-speech feature in Filmora 11. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, Filmora has come out guns blazing and it's awesome to see some of these features. In a recent video I did, we looked at the speech-to-text feature which is really, really awesome in aiding you convert your speech to subtitles automatically. Now, let's say you wanted to convert text in your video to uh, uh, to speech or voiceover. It's pretty simple. I've got this video here uh, and let's assume you just want to talk about it uh, without using your own voice. Let's go and look for a title. Uh, it's the basic. You can actually just look for just a basic title here. Let's say we go with this one. Let's drag it here. We can just double click on it and then we can change this particular text right inside here. I've already typed out some texts, so I won't uh, go into uh, typing a lot. So I'll just con uh, copy it and paste it inside here. Control V. So this is a little bit too much. We can change the font style to, let's say, Arial. Uh, let's look for Arial. And you can also see how your text looks like in real time. Uh, Arial. Let's say we go with Arial. And that's OK. And then we can reduce the font size let's say to about 32 that looks good and then we can say uh, let's just see what we can do next we can just uh, control Z let's click on the text and drag it where you want it let's say we want it somewhere there so these are our texts second assumption is that it spans the length of this particular clip so I'll just adjust it to that and it fits in this particular clip. Uh, remember that you can click on the advanced as well uh, so that if you do not want the fade in just remove it and if there's a fade out just remove it so there we have our text. Now to use the text to speech feature you'll need to click on the text layer or whatever text uh, it is and either click on this button text to speech which automatically converts your text to voice or you can also right click on your text and click on text to speech and the third option is just to click on tools text to speech let's click on that and once we click on that uh, this is going to pop up the text to speech dialog box or the parameter selection tip is going to pop up just a quick note is that the text to speech feature is more or less a paid feature uh, and uh, you'll see this actually it's, it's a service it's a free service uh, that comes with your plan and you'll see that you have a limit of about 5,000 characters per month. So use it wisely. As for the speech to text, remember it's 30 minutes per month. So let's go back inside here. What language is the title in? This particular title, let's move this aside slightly, is in English. So you can choose English, US, or the other different languages that your title is going to be in. English, US, uh, UK, Germany, uh, or German, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese, that is the Cantonese version, or uh, Chinese Mandarin, or I believe Taiwanese, Russian, Dutch, Arabic, Korean, Polish, Romanian, and then we have, I believe, Indonesian. So let's say we go with English US. For the language that they choose, there is a voice name. You can choose between all these voices available here. You can choose Mark, Bob, Lucy, Dave, ATC. It depends on your choice. Next up, we have the parameter settings where what speed do you want this voice to be in? Either slow, normal, or fast. But you can use these sliders to adjust to the level that you want. But note that it either goes slow, uh, in between slow and normal, normal, or you can also click there between normal and fast actually fast let's go with normal as for the pitch the same applies either between between uh, low and normal and normal and high so we can just drag this and it's either normal or high so let's just go with normal just know that transcriptions out are automatically matched to the timeline I believe this more or less works for the, uh, the subtitles not for the text-to-speech parameter so let's say we want to go with mark and then let's say we want the parameters to be normal, normal. Click OK. 
and you'll see the remaining characters it's actually uploading in transcription remaining available characters downloading completed so once it does that you'll see the remaining available characters that are available for you and you can always purchase more but let's close this when we look slightly down here we'll see a new voiceover so you can just bring this back and we can play it in this video i'll show you how to use the text to speech feature in filmora 11. sounds good i believe it's something that you can use if you're not really confident with your voice then this is something that you can use something else that happens is that the audio voiceover that is created or generated uh, from the text to speech conversion is added to your media bin right here or your project media folder inside Filmora 11. So you can use it. You can now manipulate the, uh, the audio the way you want it to. You can double click on it so that you can change the different parameters that you might want to change when you're editing audio in Filmora. So that is how you can use the, the text to speech feature in Filmora 11 to automatically convert your text to voice. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it is of value to you.